All right, I want to finish off binary trees and binary search trees with some tree traversals, in particular pre-order, in-order, post-order, and level order. You see these uh, tree traversals come up now and again, so they're good to know. I want to focus on pre-order, in-order, and post-order to begin with, because they're uh, very similar. They're also naturally defined recursively, and you can sort of get a feel for why they have uh, their certain names that they do. So pre-order prints before the two recursive calls. Uh, in order will print between recursive calls, and post order will print after the recursive calls. So if you look at the three uh, functions on the left, the only thing that's different between them is where the print statement is. So let's go into some detail on how pre order works. So on the right, I'm going to maintain a call stack of what gets called. So when we're recursing back up, we know what called us to know what node to go to. And what you need to know about pre-order is that we print the value of the current node and then we traverse the left subtree followed by the right subtree. So for our order, what we're going to do is we're going to start A, print A, then, then we go left go to B, then we go down to D, go down to H, and now we uh, recurse back up, so we push uh, node H off the call stack and go to D, and then we go to I, and then we explore I. Now we're at the bottom, so we recurse back up, so we push I off the call stack, We've already processed D and go back to B. We've also already processed B, but now we have to do uh, B's uh, right subtree. So we go and explore E. Now we've explored E, so uh, push the frame off the stack, explore B, push that off the stack, and now A. Now we need to explore the uh, right subtree of A. So we would print C, then F, then J, and then we're at the bottom, so recurse, and then now K, and now we're at the bottom, so recurse, so push node K off the stack, push node F off the stack, uh, and now explore node C's right subtree. So uh, G, now L, and now we're done. We curse all the way back up and we would exit our function. And at the bottom you can see what the pre-order traversal is. Okay, now let's cover in-order traversal. So how in-order traversal works is we traverse the left subtree, then we print the value, and then we traverse the right subtree. And for this example, I'm going to be using a binary search tree and not just a generic binary tree. And you'll see something interesting happens. We push node 11 on the stack because it's our root. Then we go left. Then we go left again. Then we go left again. And notice as I was going left, I would push those on uh, to the stack, but I'm not printing the value yet because when I call in order, the very first instruction in the in order is to go left. I only print once I've traversed the entire left subtree. If I'm a leaf node, like I am now, one is a leaf node, then I've already explored the uh, left subtree, if you will, so I can print the current value, then I recurse, and then I print 3 because I've explored 3's left subtree. Now we go right now, and I've explored uh, both subtrees, so I can print 5, and I recurse, and I can print 6 because I've explored 6's left subtree, 
and it can go to 8, then recurse, and then print 11. Now we need to finish 11's right subtree. So go uh, right, go left, go left, now explore 12, uh, recurse, and we're going to print 13, then go down to 14, print 14 also because 14 has uh, no subtrees. Uh, go up, so push 14 out the stack, push 13 out the stack, print 15 because we've explored 15's left subtree. Um, go right, uh, go right, and now the last thing we need to do is uh, finish our function by just pushing everything off the stack. So go back up. And now, did you notice something interesting happened when we did our in order traversal? Well, what happened was we printed the values of the nodes in increasing order, which is why it's called an in-order traversal if you do it on a binary search tree. It, it prints the values in increasing order, which is really neat. That's a, quite a nice property of the in-order traversal. Now let's look at the post-order traversal. And the post-order traversal says, okay, traverse the left subtree, then traverse the right subtree, and after you're done doing both of those, only then print the value of the node. So this means if you look at our tree right now, the last value we're going to print should be 11, because we need to process 11's entire left subtree and 11's entire right subtree. So let's start at 11 and explore its left subtree. So go all the way down, then print 1 because we've explored both its left and right subtree. Now don't print 3 because we haven't explored its right subtree yet. Print 5 because we've explored both its subtrees, which don't exist. Now we can print 3 because we've explored both of its subtrees. And then similarly go down to 8, print 8, recurse, and print 6. Don't print 11 because we still need to do its uh, right subtree. Go to 15, 13, 12, print 12. Go up to 13, print 14. Go back up to 13, and now we can print it. Don't print 15 yet because we haven't explored all of its right subtree. Then go to 17, uh, 19, and then pop everything off the stack and print on the way back up and you can see that 11 is indeed the last node we have visited. And that's pre-order, in-order, and post-order in a nutshell. Now I want to look at level order traversal which is uh, special and it's quite a bit different from the other two. A level order traversal is we want to print the nodes one layer at a time. So we start with 11, then we want to print 6 and 15, then uh, 3, 8, 13, 17, and 1, 5, 12, 14, and 19. And you're like, oh, how am I going to do that? And the way we're going to obtain this ordering is by doing something called a breadth for search. Uh, from the root node all the way down to the leaf node. So if you know what a breadth for search is from graph theory, and this is the same thing, a, a tree is a type of graph, it's no different. So what we're going to do to do our breadth for search is we're going to maintain a queue of the nodes we have left to explore. And how this is going to work is our queue is originally going to contain only the root node. And we're going to keep processing by pulling out the uh, first value in our queue until our queue is over. A bit more detail on that. So here you can see the queue on the right. I've inserted node 11. And so I would pull out node 11 and I would add 11's left child and 11's right child to the queue. So they would go at the end of the queue, and, and I've also removed 11. So, so the next node's process would be 6, followed by 15. 
and then I would keep adding children to the queue so that I reach them eventually. So let's have a look. So I've pulled 11 from the queue and now added 6 and 15 to the queue. Now the next thing on the top of the queue is uh, 6, so I'd remove 6 and add 6 as children 3 and 8 to the queue. Then 15 is next up. Now I'd add 15 as children, which are uh, 13 and 17 to the queue. And next up in the queue is 3, so I would add 3's children to the queue and then move on, explore 8. 8 has no children, so I can't add them. Next, 13. And you can see that as I'm exploring nodes, I just add the children, but keep pulling the most recent thing in the queue. And this gives us the level order traversal that we want. And this is how you do a breath for search in general. So not too complicated, except we had to use that special trick of using a queue instead of uh, using a stack. So we, we don't do uh, level order traversals recursively. We need to do them iteratively with a queue. And that's it for uh, binary search trees and tree traversals. We're going to be looking at some source code in the next video. And that should be really interesting. So stay tuned for that. Or if you just want to look at the source code, uh, I put a link in the description below for my GitHub repositories. Definitely check that out. Lots of great data structures there. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you next time.